Jefferson's man first flew. He has been driven to build faster and faster airplanes. The SR-71 Blackbird flies at three times the speed of sound. Faster than a rifle bullet. Another milestone in the quest for speed. Speed has always held a fascination for man. The desire to beat the latest record has led to all kinds of technical progress, especially in aviation. Contact. 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 In 1909, this Curtis Pusher was the fastest airplane in the world. Glenn Curtis had built and raced motorcycles in his craving for speed. He built the 60 horsepower pusher to compete in the Gordon Bennett Trophy Race at the world's first air show at Reims in France in 1909. Curtis was the only American there and he started as the underdog arriving just in time to take part. The Gordon Bennett Trophy was by far the most coveted prize of the meet. Francis Louis Blériot was the favorite in his monoplane, fresh from his triumphant crossing of the English Channel. The spectators were treated to a thrilling race. The result was in the balance right up to the closing stages. Curtis beat Blériot by six seconds, setting the first speed record for airplanes at 46 and a half miles an hour. Dale Kreitz was four at the time, and at 83, still flies his Curtis Pusher in the skies over Wisconsin. You had all the apprehensions of what can happen, of course, when you're up there, whether this engine will keep on going, it could stop firing any time, and then you are looking for a place to land. You work more flying a Curtis Pusher in the 10 minutes than you flying all day in a normal airplane, because the airplane has no stability whatsoever because the air currents are rising faster than the airplane moves forward. They always said they flew the darn things when the dew was on the grass in the morning and the mosquitoes were out at night. So that eliminated the thermals that give you a, a bump. All of a sudden you feel like you're in an elevator. You're just sitting there floating along in the air with nothing under you and you uh, just feel like you're accomplishing something out of this world. It, what Curtis said at one time, I'd fly for the mere sport of it if I wasn't in the business because there's a fascination about flying that's difficult to explain and hard to resist. And that's just about what flying is. 